Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shalom. The Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your mind, your business, and this is a killer pill. I say it again. You are minding your business, but this is a killer pill. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the good Lord blesses you and rewards you of your consistency. Let it be an upliftment. Let there be a change. Let there be a transformation in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I love this particular prophetic word so much because I feel like this is where God wants you to be, and this is how God wants you to be. I say it again. I feel like this is where God wants you to be, and this is how God wants you to be. You know, there are people who have had it in their hearts and in their minds that life would always revolve around them. There are people who always want to see you cry. They want to see you ashamed. They want to see you in tears. They want to see you suffer. And that is the society we live in. We live in a society whereby when you're okay with people, they want you to be okay. But when you're not okay with people, they don't want you to be okay. Now, what am I trying to say? What I'm saying is when people feel like you're in good terms with them, like you are talking with each other or an example of somebody whom you're in a relationship with. Now, the moment that relationship breaks, separation or a breakup, what happens is that it's very difficult for them to have your good at heart. It's very difficult for them to say, oh, I would want this person to be smiling. I would want this person to be happy. I would want this person to be joyous. You know what I'm talking about? So sometimes people only want your happiness when they feel like you both are in good terms. But as long as you both are not in good terms, they don't want your happiness. And it's a sad reality. No matter how you put it, no matter how you try to sugarcoat it, if you have noticed one thing about life, you will notice that there are people who do not just wake up and they are happy for you. No. You will notice that there are people who want you to just be the way you are. They don't want you to celebrate. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to jubilate. I'm speaking to you right now who is watching me, and this is your situation. You separated, and the separation made them wanted to say, oh, I wish the negative things happened to her. I wish the bad things happened to him. Why? Because some people feel like the moment you start facing difficulties and negativity, you're going to run to them. So the moment you don't run to these people, they feel like, oh, what is going on? They feel like, oh, what is happening? So... You know what I'm talking about. So there are people who always want you to run to them. Oh, the feeling like they were your last resort. So when they left you, they expected you to die. But every time you're bouncing back, you bounce back with so much energy. You bounce back with so much um, um vibe in you. So every endeavor to take away your joy, every effort to take away your happiness doesn't work. 
because they cannot seem to understand you. So you have decided to mind your business. You have decided to focus on yourself. You have decided to be silent on yourself. And it's a killer pill. It's killing somebody right now because they cannot seem to figure you out. They cannot seem to understand who exactly you are. And because they cannot seem to figure you out and understand exactly who you are, it's killing them. It's killing them because they expected you to go down. They expected your life not to be okay. They expected your life to be a mess. I want to pray for you when people left you and felt like you were going to die. I want to pray for you when people said they thought they were the God in your life. But watch what God is doing in your life. The Lord is raising you and the Lord is doing great and mighty things in your life. I pray for you in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. You will not falter. You will not fail. God is putting your markers to shame. God is putting your enemies to shame. In the name of Jesus, they that prayed for your downfall, they will be shocked and amazed in the name of Jesus. If I'm talking to you and you're connecting yourself to this amazing prophetic meeting, please type it on the comment section, connect yourself, make that confession. Say, they that prayed for my downfall, said they will be shocked and amazed. Ah, I say this and I'm feeling the power of God. Say it again. Somebody say, they that prayed for my downfall will be shocked and will be amazed. They will be shocked and will be extremely amazed. The people praying for your downfall, the people praying for you to fail, the people praying for you to go backward, they will be shocked and they will be amazed. God bless you powerfully in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if this word have been of great help and blessings to you, I want to beg on you to please pray for me as the spirit of the Lord will lead you. Please pray for me. Please, please, please call my name in the place of your prayers. Please kindly always and always pray for me. I want to say thank you so much to the people who always pray for me. I see some prayers sometimes on the comment section. I see I receive some prayer sometimes when people tell me pastor i pray for you always you are such a darling god bless you i love you so much please do not forget to share like and subscribe now may the lord bless you may he keep you may he cause his face to shine on you may he be gracious to you and may he give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken like me I love you so, 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 so much. I do. I love you so, so much. And by the special grace of God, I will see you all in our next prayer session and in our next prophetic word. God is raising you higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom.